You are listening to the Think Yourself Confident Podcast. It is fascinating how people know exactly what they should be doing, but yet sometimes they do the reverse. They listen to their negative self-talk and get stuck in their own limiting beliefs. In this show, you will learn how to find confidence and clarity so that you can unlock your full potential. Imagine making money from your passion or reaching that dream that you keep pushing on the back burner. Natalie Plama Don Thomas is an eight-time international number one best-selling author and founder of the Think Yourself Academy, offering leading-edge courses, coaching, trainings, keynotes, and business mentorship programs. Welcome to the Think Yourself Confident Podcast. Here's your host. Hey, it's Natalie with the Think Yourself Academy. Today we're talking about mindset for mind upset. <laughs> so when we're upset, it's very often caused by a conflict um, and usually with a relationship. Um, potentially, we've been hurt. Um, being hurt is a very powerful emotion. We, it can cause anger. It can cause also sadness. And all these emotions, as we are um, experiencing them in our prefrontal cortex, are keeping us from being resourceful, from being at our best. So here are three keys that you can use, three strategies that will help you get rid of the upsetting part of whatever event happened that you keep uh, reliving and that you're trying to get out of this emotional loop and you, um, you are, in a sense, prisoner of, of this upsetting situation. So the first thing you can ask yourself is, what is the truth? What am I trying to defend? And does it really matter? Because the key here is the truth does not need to be defended. See, let's say you're eating a broccoli soup and it's obvious the soup is green. And somebody comes to you and says, how's your cauliflower soup? And then you say, uh, it's broccoli. It's not cauliflower. And then the other person says, well, that's what I said, cauliflower. No, you said broccoli. No, I think I'm pretty sure I said cauliflower. And here it is. There's a conflict that has started because we think that the broccoli soup minds being called a cauliflower. It does not matter. The soup doesn't care being called something else. And this is a very basic example. However, in real life, are there really things that really, really matter? Um, and and is the, the truth always that important? So the first step is to ask yourself, what is the truth that I'm trying to defend? And does it really matter? And sometimes, yes, it does matter. But we need to go beyond this. We need to go beyond um, what we're trying to defend. We need to go all the way up to purpose. So what is the ultimate purpose here? Will you get to your purpose if you cannot get along with the person that you're working with or with your family member. Um, let's say that the, the broccoli soup is your teenage daughter that comes to tell you, I think I'm going to start taking drugs. And then you're like, well, no. So in this case, the truth needs to be defended. But what is the ultimate purpose here? The ultimate purpose is the relationship you have with your daughter. Or if your coworker comes to you and says, um, I'm totally against this plan that you're trying to implement. This is not a project that works. And we think we're going to go a different way. Your idea was great. Or maybe you're the leader and you need to get your team to buy into this new idea or this new system. And it is important. The truth needs to be defended. However, that's not the real goal. The real goal is for everybody to work together. The real goal is to, to sell this idea to your daughter that it's not a good idea. It's the relationship that you will have with your daughter so that she actually wants to listen to what you have to say. 
example, it's the relationship you have with your team so that they will listen to this new system you're proposing or this new project. So the ultimate purpose needs to be considered. So that's trick number two. Lead from the purpose. What is the real purpose of this? And in order to get to your purpose, the third key is you need to listen. So listen to what the other person has to say. And listening doesn't just mean um, potentially cutting the corner and say, okay, I listened to what you had to say, but this is a really bad idea and we're not going to do that. Here's what we're going to do instead. Sometimes listening means to give them the benefit of the doubt and understand why they're saying this and potentially even maybe you're going to waste a month of or two going towards their idea so that they figure out that, no, it was not a good idea what, what they were proposing and your idea was the best. And sometimes you need the time to, to make them see that for themselves so that they revert back to say, oh, you were right. Because if, if that's the project, it might be delayed a little bit by during the time that you are listening, you might be wasting a little bit of time. And that doesn't matter because the ultimate goal at the end is that they are on board. And unless you listen to what they have to say and you you go with their suggestion, even if you're like, oh, we're wasting so much time with this, or you tell your daughter, um, talk to me more. What is this about this uh, new Thing that you want to try and you try to listen so that your daughter will be like oh my gosh my mom really gets me my dad really listen so maybe I should ask what they think about it because after a few months of listening to what they have to, to what they have to say they will start turning towards you for advice but until that happens they will not want to hear anything that you have to say if you haven't listened to them first. So first, remember, the truth does not need to be defended. Lead from purpose. What is the real goal with all of this? And listen. Next week, I will give you a really cool listening technique that works all the time. Um, it's a long-term technique, uh, and you will... Uh, be amazed at, at how you can implement that in your personal and professional life. I will see you there. Are you ready to control the overwhelm? Take the first step towards a stress-free life by grabbing your copy of our free guide that includes 22 questions you can use when you face stress. Embrace this opportunity to reclaim your peace of mind and unlock your true potential. Go to thinkyourself.com forward slash 22 questions and turn off the panic button. Thanks for listening to the Think Yourself Confident Podcast. If you heard something today that resonated with you, please connect with Natalie at www.thinkyourself.com. And while you're there, make sure to download the two-step proven technique for confidence or book a free virtual coffee with Natalie at www.thinkyourself.com slash schedule. And remember to head over to iTunes and leave a five-star review and share it with your friends. Let's spread the confidence around.